this lady has one of the hardest jobs in the world. <laughs> victories, but they still figure out ways around things and then we're still chasing them around trying to... <laughs> when I hear Amway saying that they want to hone in more on health and wellness products, I get a little scared, okay? I get a little scared. But I'm bum bum. What's up? How are you doing? I hope that you are all having a fabulous, fabulous day. So today we are going to be doing a, a video where we are talking about how Amway has just gone and laid off 900 employees. You know, they were just like, jobs, we don't need to give them to you. Bye. So let's get into that. So just a little disclaimer for the dumb people in the back that are always sitting there trying to look for a way to make me look bad. I am no way, shape, or form celebrating the fact that 900 people have lost their jobs. Th that's not a celebration. What I am doing is I am talking about how Amway has laid off 900 employees and is moving some of their manufacturing from Ada to Michigan. And what that means for our community going forward as we try to shut down these pyramid schemes, which apparently there's like a lot of people in the skeptic community. Suits, you're the skeptic community, right? You claim? Who think that MLMs are really amazing and that anyone that speaks out against them is actually just someone that failed. And I mean, our whole community has touched on that a bazillion times. So I'm just going to ask all of you to please catch up before you go shaming me all over the internet or whatever it is you're doing. So Amway lays off 900 employees and moves some manufacturing to Michigan. So Grand Rapids, Michigan. Amway announces a business restructure Thursday that would cut 900 jobs from its global headquarters in Ada, Michigan, and separate facilities in Buena Park, California. I love California. The Grand Rapids area company announced most of the cuts would come from the nearly 3,000 workers in Ada. It is our hope to achieve as much of this as we can through voluntary departures, and we will offer generous terms that align to our values. Treating all employees with openness, dignity, and respect, Cindy Droog, Amway Corporate Media Relations, said in a company release. Oh my god, imagine being the media relations for Amway. This lady has one of the hardest jobs in the world. <laughs> Amway expected the layoffs to take place between March 18th to the end of the year. Some would stay into 2022. Now, the gross thing about this is that nobody knows, like, who they are until they get cut. The company also announced it would be shifting some manufacturing for the Neutralite brand to Ada from California over the next several years. The company did not say how many jobs would be cut from California during the manufacturing move or move to Ada. Amway said the 900 jobs being cut represent about 6% of the multi-level marketing company's global staff. I'm good. And we are following breaking news just into our newsroom tonight. One of West Michigan's very largest companies is cutting some 900 jobs. Amway, based in Ada, says that most of those cuts will happen at its corporate headquarters in suburban Grand Rapids. Those 900 jobs are roughly 6% of the multi-level marketing company's global workforce. A spokesperson for Amway says the company is restructuring to focus on its health and wellness business. Most of those job cuts, we're told, will happen before the end of the year. Amway says it is also adding some jobs at other Michigan manufacturing facilities. All right, so Happens there we go. Now, I don't need the next news story. Thank you. Rolling. So what does that mean? Does that mean anything for us? See, the thing is, is here in the anti-MLM industry, we always get these like little bits of information like this and we're like, yay. And then 
MLMs are still running rampant everywhere and it doesn't do much. So I've been celebrating for the last couple weeks here. I don't know if you saw my video, but I did a video just a little while ago talking about how the MLM industry is <laughs> crashing. It is on it's on a steady decline. 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 Mirroring on this thing messes me up. Decline. So I think that it is fair to say this isn't really a, a victory for our community. It, it's kind of like how the the MLMs were kicked off a of TikTok and we were all like, yay, but there's still figuring out ways to promote on TikTok and it's taking forever to get the Huns off of there. Y you know what I mean? It's like little victories, but they still figure out ways around things and then we're still chasing them around trying to... <laughs> What does this mean for our community? What does this mean for Amway? Unfortunately, in terms of the multi-level marketing industry, it doesn't really mean a lot. So they're saying that they are going to be honing in on their health and wellness products. When I hear Amway saying that they want to hone in more on health and wellness products, get a little scared. Okay. I get a little scared. We know that all of these MLM companies that do health and wellness products are not testing them properly. We're unsure what's in most of them. They don't send them to third party testing. They probably aren't good for your health and wellness. Just saying they prey on people that are ill. Oftentimes when they are selling these products, I know when I was in It Works, they used to actually tell me to go and find support groups of ailments to add myself into and then make fake friends with the people in there and suggest that our products would be able to help them with whatever. So whenever a company's like, hey, we're switching everything around, I'm going to be more about health and wellness. I'm like, uh, oh no, that's not good. Also... 900 people is going to be out of a job. Also not good. We're not, like I said at the beginning of the video, that we are not celebrating the fact that 900 people are out of a job. That's not like our big celebration. We're not really celebrating much. What we can celebrate a little bit, kind of, is the fact that we know why Amway is actually doing this. Amway right now is restructuring their entire business. Why? They have been caught. They have been caught for trying to promote their products during the pandemic as being something that can actually cure or help the word that we might not be able to say on here because the old bitch don't want to get shadow banned. So what are they doing? They've gotten together. They are like, let's redo our whole business structure. Let's redo our whole business. They're kind of known as being a pyramid scheme now. They have been sued. And so they're trying to figure out a way to run their business, concentrate more on the health and wellness aspect. Yay. And continue being a crappy MLM, hopefully with more loopholes and more ways around the law to be able to continue on. Are they going about this in a good way? No, they are not. <laughs> As you read, they basically are just like, guess what? 900 people are going to lose their jobs. You won't know when you'll be losing yours. We'll keep some on for a little while. We'll fire some tomorrow and, you know, we, we might keep on some for a few months and you'll, you'll be done by the end of the year, though. Don't worry. That is going to make everybody freak out. There's nobody that wants to be told that their employer wants to cut down 900 jobs. They're working there and they have no clue if they're going to be one of the people cut. This is still new news, though. You, know, you, you gotta give it to them. 
I'm going to be paying attention to this and watching kind of like how it plays out. How are they going to go about letting these employees go? Are they doing all that in a legal way? Because something tells me probably not completely, sis. Probably not. I just thought it was interesting because I know a lot of people are going to see that headline and they're going to go, Oh my God, Amway is firing 900 people. They might shut down. And it's like, no, no, unfortunately. These things fire hundreds of people all the time. I just wanted to come on. I wanted to do a quick little video about it because this was only four days ago that they announced this. So it's, it's reasonably new. So I think we should just hang back a little bit, see how this plays out going forward. Because like I said, it, 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 things can get real shysty out here right now. They did say they were going to be fair with these employees as they let them go. So I personally want to see what they plan on doing. Like, are they going to be giving them some kind of like severance package or something? They haven't really said much. Like I said, I'm sure that everyone working there is like, gee, thanks for letting us know. So, of course, I want to hear from you. You. Yes, you right there. You right there sitting on your couch watching this. I know you probably hate me. You probably hate watching me, but I still want to hear from you. I want to hear what you think about this. Do you think that they're going to be good about this with their employees? Do you think that they will be able to restructure their entire business plan and pay mostly attention to their health and wellness products, claiming that they're going to make them better so that they could sell more of them? Just wondering, how do you think this is going to go? And what do you think that this means for our community going forward? Like I said, I feel like being in this anti-MLM community, and I've been in here for over three years now, I feel like it's... Every time we get a little bit of a win, it ends up not really being a win. Do you know what I mean? We're like, yay, no more TikTok for MLMs. They still on there, though. They still on there. We're like, yay, MLM industry is dying. And then like five more MLMs come out and open up. Like, you know what I mean? So a lot of us with this news, especially as advocates, we're kind of like, okay. They said they're firing 900 people. I guess we'll just see how this goes, but it's in anti-MLM news, so I, I thought I would bring it to everybody's attention and ask you what you think and what you think this means for our community going forward. Also, do you want me to keep on checking this out? Because like I said, I kind of want to see how this plays out a little bit. I want to see if they're actually going to give people some kind of severance package, how they're going to go about doing this. I want to see if people just get, like, sideswiped. You know, like, I want to see this whole thing play out. I just thought it would be fun today if we played How Do You Think This Will Go. So let me know down in them comments below, please. I don't know why I went Southern there. I've been listening to way too many Southern people out here, apparently. And I think I'm going to end the video there. Thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to kind of put it out in the world, make this announcement this was happening, let you know a little bit about what that means or doesn't mean for our community. And then, of course, leave it up to you to come and tell me what you think. Your opinions and views are always welcome here. I have put some... How, how do I say this? My, my comment section is, is now being censored for people that are cruel. I got some names blocked. So, ain't gonna be no trolls under my stuff no more. I always want to hear what you think and what you have to say and what this means for you. So please do let me know and, and don't be scared about jealous exes or something. I don't know what's happening. And no matter where you are, what you're doing, I hope that you have a fabulous, fabulous day. Take care and I will see you in the next one, which is going to be tomorrow. I have a flat earth video. It's going to be an r slash flat earth and then 
Wednesday, we're going to be reacting to some Flat Earth videos because that is super duper fun. And I've been recording actually a lot of videos of me doing that recently. So I, I, I feel like pumping them out to you. And on Thursday, we have another little video that I kind of want to keep a secret right now because... I'm a bitch like that. And Friday, hopefully, I'm going to be having my witch's deep dive. But I'm, I'm waiting on a couple things for that. So I don't want witchy things attacking me again, okay? For, like, no reason. Just, like, Wee! I will see you in the next one. Bye! And be like, your house is messy. You ain't got nice hair in this video. Bitch, wear makeup figure out ways around things and then we're still chasing them around trying to <laughs> so let me know down in them comments below please i don't know why i went southern there i've been listening to way too many southern people out here apparently all these little girls hating on me just because your bitch stepped out on the scene i don't gotta do shit i don't need no help they think they hate me but they really hate themselves you a damn bitch if one girl's name's mentioned gotta break out in a stream to grab some attention grab a few bros grab a few hoes just to come at little me